Yeah. Welcome to Flappers LBD Night, ladies and gentlemen. LBD Night, Laughter by Domination. <laughs> I'm Margarita. I'll be your dominatrix for the next five minutes. That's not true. I'd be a horrible dominatrix. I don't, I don't care enough. <laughs> L LBD night, like LBD, that sounds like the personal listing on Craigslist section. Like LBD seeks same for yeah. fun nights. <laughs> oh, no, I am Margarita, you heard correct. That's my name, like the drink. And like the drink, I tend to be icy and sour. <laughs> People always ask me, Margarita, is that your real name? Is that your real name? Did you make that up? Is that your real name? Like, like I'm lying. It's like, you caught me out of all the names in the world a white girl could pick for herself. I went with the frosty Mexican beverage. Margarita, it sounds classier than sex on the beach. Actually, I am Mexican and Irish, so culturally, I'm drunk and lazy, really. I'm married. Yes. Married 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. Six of them pretty happily. Six of them pretty happily. I don't know, who am I kidding? My marriage is so dysfunctional. You know, instead of till death do us part, now we just say, check in with me Tuesday. Let's see. Yeah. It's, it's so dysfunctional. I, I think it started when I did not take my husband's name. Didn't do it. I, 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 I took his self-esteem and his, his pride, his will to live, but I, I didn't take his name. I didn't take his name. See, my husband is Asian American. If I had taken his name, I would be Margarita Yee. Margarita Yee. That's not a good name for a white girl. I'm sorry, how is that gonna look on my Starbucks cup in the morning? Margarita Yee. It just, it sounds like some kind of immigrant law firm or something. <laughs> Ni hao, Margarita Yi, se habla espanol. It just, it doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't know, our marriage is pretty dysfunctional. Uh, you know, after 14 years, date night is now simply making a run to Target. You know, he'll try and get me in the mood, say, honey, we're out of toilet paper again. And I'll say, oh, does this mean I have to put on a bra now? It, you know, it's not all bad. We go to Target, push that cart down the aisle, feeling sexy. Have to get a little action in the body wash aisle, if you know what I mean. Head over to Olive Garden for some endless breadsticks. Make a real night of it. I just, I, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm a woman in her 40s. I'm just too tired to go out on a real date. I'm, I'm a woman in her 40s or, as I like to call it, Gone Girl. <laughs> She's gone. She's left the building. <laughs> I'll tell you, the worst thing about being a woman in her 40s, it's not, it's not even wrinkle, you know, the occasional gray hair. It, it's not even the occasional vaginal dryness. It's the fact that I am now ma'am. Not miss. See, you young girls, you go into a store, clerk comes up to you, says, Miss, how you doing today? Miss, can I help you? Miss, how you feel doing? Find everything today? Miss, 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 miss. It sounds so sexy and playful. When I go into a store, it's like, ma'am, can I help you? Ma'am, are you finding everything today? Ma'am, ma'am. Just, oh, just tone of it. Even the sound of the word ma'am. How are you? Ma'am. It's a bit ma'am. It sounds like a dying animal. Ma'am. Ma'am. Just, you know, and, and, and that patronizing tone they take, the clerk. It's like he's trying to explain Instagram to his grandmother. It's like, ma'am, do you need help out to your car? Ma'am, are you lost, ma'am? I just, there's, there's no male equivalent. There's no male equivalent. A man is sir. He doesn't become sham suddenly when he gets fifty. <laughs> understand this middle-aged perimenopausal reclassification that I need to go through. I'm still good. I'm good. You know, a lot of people, when they get to be my age, they start to make that bucket list. You know, all the things you want to do. 
before you die? Are you majors? Yeah. I'm a lot more practical. I've uh, come up with a fuck it list, basically. And it's a list of all the things that I thought I would be able to do, but I've now completely given up on. Learn a second language. Oh, fuck it. Donde está el baño? Poquito más está bien. Oh, um, um, you know, travel abroad, live in Italy. Oh. It. It's, a, it's a nice olive garden right here in the valley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go back to school. Get your degree. Who are these people that go back to school? I don't get it. I couldn't wait to get out of school. Oh, go back to school. Get my degree. Go back to school. Start a second career. Go back to school. Get my doctor. Back to school. Back to school. Back to school. Back to school is an aisle in Target. I don't want to go there. At least I don't have kids, though. Have you seen these people? The people with the kids, have you seen them? Have you seen the people? Because they're there. They're there in Target, too. They're pushing that cart, shuffling down the aisle in their khakis. Kids in there, jumping up and down, screaming and yelling. She's still got her Elsa costume on from Halloween. When, now, when did this start happening? When did children start wearing a superhero costume 24-7? Out, out in public. I mean, did I miss this? Uh, it, it, is that some kind of dress code now? Is there some bouncer out from a Target going, nope, sorry young lady, we require little girls to wear princess costumes, little boys in karate geese. Capes are also acceptable. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.